welcome back to Ken Plays, everyone. Now we're gonna, we're gonna play The Witcher 3. Uh, yeah, so if you're following our community, you probably saw we got a new GPU, so we're actually back onto the old computer. Uh, we were using a laptop before, so part of why we're just quickly recording this tonight before I hit the hay, set our good old timer. If you watch us regularly, another gag there, but... Um, yeah, no, I figured I, I wanted to just do a little test with the uh, recording software. I tried to do an episode with Elite Dangerous, Cam and I were playing. The audio was good, but yeah, I forgot to uh, not record my Spotify. So there'd be a lot of copyright strikes for that video. And unfortunately, it's all on the same track as the game audio, where I just separated out right and put some stock music. But yeah, <laughs> whoops, that's, uh, that's a problem. Anyways, um... Yeah, we're gonna start a new game. Uh, we're gonna go New Game Plus. And so, what we might do with this is, um, I mean, I am truly insane and I do love it, but um, we're just gonna go Blood Broken Bones. <laughs> uh, uh, hmm, I thought I had my save carried over from the old one. Sure. Sorry, you must first choose a save, made after completing the standard version of the game. I think this one should be fine. Oh. Oh. Maybe it's... No, that's the start of the game. Oh, snap, eh? No, that's all the start. What date? 2016. Okay. Okay. We're on to something here. Hey, hey, hold on with me, folks. We're on the right time track, though, so we just gotta find... The last save. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. Well, we appear to have lost my old endgame save. That's weird. I really wanted to just... Because I'm playing... Oh! Okay, I guess that worked. I... I'm not sure what this save is. Um... Should be fine though. It's probably the same one I used. But anyways, I'm I'm playing the game on New Game Plus now. I have been for the last I don't know, like four years. Uh, just I don't know once because I've beaten the game three times I think or twice, and I got to a point where like I love this game, but I don't know. I just a new game came out or something, right? Or I got distracted by something else in life and just stopped playing it. But they released the HD edition, so we're playing in 4K. Um, fancy new graphics and stuff with the new GPU, which is another reason I want to try this out, see if recording it would work well. That's that's one way to kill someone, too. And uh, <laughs> just, yeah, I don't know. Good test game to play. It's something we can translate over, because our Warhammer playthrough did not pan out the... I don't think we're going to put that one back on the channel until it's done updating in a couple of years, if it even is at a state where I'm happy with it. I'm not going to get into it, but uh, they like broke the graphics or some crap with it in the last update. The V-Sync's on like double buffering, so half the time I have 30 FPS and it like lurches from 60 to 30 and I just fucking... I don't need that kind of stress trying to, you know, set up a fucking video game in my life. <laughs> Whereas with The Witcher, I can just turn it on and play it and it works. It's amazing. What a concept. Something I don't have to fight with in my life. Anyways. Um, if you have no clue what The Witcher is, or you want like some kind of summary of what the fuck we're watching, uh, no. Go fuck yourself. You can figure it out as we play it. Oh, and this would be something good to track. Like, we could do this on the Elitist, right? Just continue the same save file. I think uh, there's enough to this game that that shouldn't be too disjointing, and then, like I was saying about Warhammer, you can just backtrack, right, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, Yennefer's fucking a bunch of people up. So, okay, well, I'm gonna give you cliff notes if you haven't played the first two games. Basically, a war started. Um, the evil southern empire is invading the northern realms, and things are not going well for the north. This is Yennefer, she's on the run, Geralt, and, uh... Vesemir, his like mentor, are trying to track her down because I think I don't know why he's exactly looking for Yennefer. It, I, I know he's looking for Siri, and that might be why he's. No, oh, yeah, Yennefer sent him a letter, told him she wanted to meet. Basically, she pulled the estranged ex routine, and Geralt's a moron, and you know, 
just immediately trying to go find her because he thinks she's in trouble or whatever. You'll see soon enough. I remember, wait, far less impressive in the future, but I remember um, first time I played this and I did that from the cinematic to the game graphics. That was, that was something special. <laughs> Cause yeah, and I guess this would be nice, like the Guild Wars 2 episodes. I could stop talking so much and just chill a bit. Let the game do it for me. Oh, and the best part about The Witcher 3 is we start with the cringiest part up front. And then after this, it's all uphill. Sit back, get some cringe going if you've never seen this game before. Just settle in. And Laugh about how Ken might have to do a whole bunch of fucking censoring just to keep this up on YouTube. <laughs> Thank God we don't have to worry about monetization. Fuck that game. What few people do watch our content, you know. I'm, I'm glad I don't have to play the YouTube game right to deliver it. Fuck that shit. And I'm glad I have a full-time job and the whole, like, past of worrying about doing YouTube as a career and shit. No, I don't find Fuck that. Amazing. Fuck that. I wouldn't wish having to work on this kind of, like, that schedule and that all those rules and shit on my worst of enemies. If you enjoy your channel you make on YouTube, power to you. If you're doing it as a profession or because you think it's a good, it like, wasn't meant to I just, amuse, but to prod you I feel to bad for you, you honestly. <laughs> There's way better things you can do with your life. Way more Go, rewarding and fulfilling things than wasting things. your time worrying about people thinking you're popular or not on social media and you know that's my opinion and I'm an asshole I'll say that up front but that's been my experience with all that kind of stuff so later then mm. I enjoy doing it as See a hobby you later. See and this fucked with my head too not the new well there's no actual like real nudity in this scene, like the Witcher will do in parts, but um, she's wearing the towel around her head, and I don't know if the writers of the game did this intentionally to fuck with people, because, you know, if you played the first two, you're sitting here going, oh, that's Triss, but it's not, and that confused me. <laughs> I guess I might have to censor parts of this already, <laughs> so I'll just take it down. Or I could just make this liar like adult only play through. <laughs> Cause I can set up the censorship now, uh, when I upload, right? Select like 18 only. Start a new new trend on YouTube. Oh she got dread oh she she's magic. I was like that was quick. <laughs> Insert no, uh, you know, girls take forever joke. Shit. Mountain pass as beautiful as ever. There you go. Beauty 4K. If I manage to edit the episode correctly and upload it in 4K. <laughs> we'll see. And I really like this too. Um, if you played the first game, there's kind of a... A bit of a parallel going on to... Oh. Is that Siri? Oh yeah, that is Siri down there. Oh. Let's go play Father with Carol. Oh shit. Oh yeah, see they got a little see the good game design too. You're running out of juice. Teaches I mean, you how you're you gonna use your little witcher sensors to, game. you know, investigate during missions. Now we're just looking for a key, but I think it's pretty simple. Obviously it's just right there, but it doesn't glow until you hold down your witcher sensors. So there you go. Lilac and gooseberries. Um you know, I've obviously talked a lot in the past of uh, Aaron Hansen's like Game Grum stuff and sequelitis. And one thing I do really agree with that guy is uh, good game design is you show, don't tell. You know, let the player naturally learn how to play the game by just giving them examples of what to do. Don't uh, put up a bunch of text boxes telling them what to do, right? And that was a really good example of that. And I know there's been, a, I think there were some text boxes, but if there was, Old I just asleep. dismissed them right away. Series disappeared somewhere, of course. And there's Vesemir, the guy from the cinematic, if you're still wondering who the fuck everyone is. Geralt's mentor, essentially. Guess 
and there's Siri. Practiced a theory. And now, if you've only watched the show and you're like, what? What? I and I haven't Time watched anything past, I think, maybe the These lessons so boring, they first half of the second too. season. Damn it. Basically, Siri eventually gets, like, adopted by proxy by girl with a chance of going to care more and to train as a witcher. Making her slug through that brick. I'm not sure all the exact details, but essentially that's where she was raised. but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Apologies if my audio is kind of like really loud and really quiet. I'm playing with the controller and I'm just kind of relaxing. Still getting used to having a condenser mic and you know raising your voice as you move farther away and all that kind of stuff and getting a bit quieter as you get closer. And the fact that you can probably hear a lot now. A lot more than we ever could in the channel. <laughs> oh, so, oh, never mind. Forgot about that. It's been a while too since I've seen the very beginning of the game. So this is kind of newer, uh, new again to me. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. Yeah, geez, since like 2016. With a flip? What do you think? Time flies. The game does not feel that old to me. All right. Take off the blindfold. But then things you love rarely do feel old over time. So yeah. you've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Not this time. Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. And much like Yennefer, for me, it was just like, who the fuck is Siri? Who the fuck is Yennefer? Like, I've been, I played two full games. I never read the books, right? The TV shows didn't exist yet. So for me, I, you know, I, I'm more familiar with those two characters than I am with Siri and Yennefer. <laughs> I know. Tr I remember Triss, right? Like lady. she was basically, I guess, the main romantic interest sorry, or whatever. Young the first two craves games. action. I understand that, but when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you want to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Oh snap! Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if- But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Let's skip straight to free training. 
No point going over the basics again. Yeah, well, New Game Plus doesn't even give you the option to <laughs> just skip to your right and like, no, no, no. <laughs> like, I think it cuts ahead too. Showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhead. Find that helmet. Oh, uh, yeah, and the start of the. Well, no, that's not him. So this. Siri? Must be. Before even the first uh, game, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. It's gonna get weird. What that? Some big revelation that I never noticed before that Santa for like it's supposed to be in her, I think. Or maybe it's supposed to be Siri as an adult. This, and you the eyes look like him. No, Yennefer is purple eyes. I think. No. I don't know, it was all a nightmare. Cause we're sleeping by the tree. After the loading screen. Oh, and to the uh, reason why I you all right? stopped coming back to this game was the last <sighs> DLC. Nightmare. If you do Hello? like kind of the perfect ending, there's a good scene at the Take end. That's kind of like, explain. yeah. I think I am, you know, like that Gone is the end, off, right? It had a nice final ending to it. Um, yeah, it's really a game that doesn't need another sequel. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in a tub and next to me... Tris? Jennifer. Yeah, that's right! Isn't it? She's I see you. in there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? So it's supposed to mm. fuck with your head. Mm. Yeah, okay, that's true right. to life indeed. We are <laughs> she nagging. <nailed it. laughs> I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wild lands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way. It means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm. At least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared. Attacked Siri. I couldn't move. Stood there like a stump. Oh yeah, that totally. You can just see right through his chest there. It's a good it glitch. Was just a dream. <laughs> I think it's just this armor, because um, this is like armor you craft at the end of the game. Basically, it's not. And there's some weird, like his beard will clip through the side of it and stuff when he's looking the right way. Whereas most of the armor doesn't have that collar, right? So I think there's some uh, some glitches with the HD edition. They may not see. So yeah, look once. Yeah, no one obviously tested it when he's looking that far down, right? 
I love how to fucking. Wait. I'm like a shit disturber. I love Show just noticing little things you. like that. <laughs> and then, like, figuring out why it's there. Didn't right? overlook anything. Bad Lent movies, that's why I like watching them, because I love getting into the head of the creators and being like, what were they. Why would you do it like this? This obviously is not that kind of entertainment. Other than that, all video game cinematics are like watching a bad movie. <laughs> Gonna read it, not sniff it. <laughs> we must meet soon. I didn't say Will that, did I? Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn. That's private. <laughs> Very private. Aha! I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. The trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, uh -oh. hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Yeah, just like right here. <gasps> Shit. I wonder if the Vesemir AI can like fight it on its own. Well, I mean, fight it, but whatever he can actually keep going on his own. Sorcerer I knew couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No, really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Yeah, I think I, that's a mission. The first game, I think, I can't remember. But I do recall something War's like that. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edern are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. Keeps making oh, it's my Steam chat, group chat. That's what that is. Look at the peasants in these games. <laughs> Bowl cut and everything. It's amazing. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly. 
but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... You'd like a reward, I suppose. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I've a meager purse at the moment. Nilfgaardians requisitioned my goods. Now this... Here. Yeah, give me the money, buddy. Back to the trail. <clears throat> like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone. What's it to you? Well, you see, there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea, especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Actually, yeah, this is kind of a perfect solo game. Because there's a fair amount of talking that goes on. Not all the time, it gets a lot less once you get past this part of the game. Because uh, you're mostly just by yourself after that. So, but, yeah. Griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. Good solo play material. You know, mountain, I don't, I don't sure, have to keep rambling on about crap. Near the main road. <laughs> Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. One thing I am fairly excited about is the opportunity to finally, like, reliably, not just game, but, um, like, make stuff with the computer that I can do in 4K, um, so, like, I've got some other ideas for stuff, I don't know if anything's gonna come up it, but, I don't know, I'm, I'm always, like, you know, matching music videos and stuff like that, just based on songs, that could be good, maybe make some, uh, there's some genres of music I listen to that are mostly, and this is gonna sound weird, but they're, a lot of them are, um, you know, like copyright free or whatever, royalty free, so uh, like, just because they're kind of like newer uh, electro music genres and stuff, like swing or electro swing. Or electro. I know it's not jazz, yeah, it's swing. So, and like that's to me, a lot of those songs are good companion music for something like Elite Dangerous. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just. This is cool to me, because <clears throat> I have a 4K TV, finally. I have a video card that can actually play games in 4K. Yeah, before that, it was just the PS4. And I remember we did one episode of Resident Evil. And it was... It looked pretty cool, but it's a lot different mm, compared to that. I have a PS4 Pro, so that's the thing before I could play 4K on. I guess I can now, too. I just haven't turned that thing on in... Oh boy, more than a couple years now. <laughs> no need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just pass through. Now a griffin about. Mm, uh, it's getting a little Already late. The pleasure. One mean beast. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go much longer than I than 45 minutes tonight. Claude Lena so bad, poor but. things one foot in the grave. But there's no good to wallow in this thing. How can I be a service? A drop of vodka for me. I love this you game. There's just like I, there time. is more to it than you might realize, or at least there's certain Pretty things that I just I don't want to talk about them because on the move. They're spoilers. For and, and you're like, what the Others fuck? If you've never played this game before, if you played it, you might know exactly what I'm fucking talking drink. about. But uh, so if you haven't, been good for your trade. <laughs> so far, but it'd be best to know peace again. Yeah. Times like I'll these, just leave that there, because <laughs> if we get to that, um, oh, it's a quest. That if we get to that, eventually in this playthrough, I sure as hell don't want to fucking spoil it, because it was one of my favorite things playing this game, along with, like, there's just a lot of things like that where there's a good setup and kind of payoff um, with the characters and kind of their arcs and stuff like that. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Kids just dancing out there. Looking for a woman, raven-haired, violet eyes, 
Dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget. <laughs> what are they doing out there? Plenty of travelers about, though. Folks are all over. If you wonder what I'm talking about, like, wait till the camera goes back to view from the window. Um. Thanks. For everything. Oh, come on, do it. But yeah, yeah, oh, you can kind of see them there. There's like a kid dancing or some shit. I guess you can just rewind the video. Help you bandage that up? Please, I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Jeez, mm -hmm. fine. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Black one's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Just want to talk. You deaf, Stray. No one here will talk to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Running low on patience. Once it's gone, your heads will roll. Oh, we was jesting. No call for anger. See a raven-haired woman here, dressed in black and white? We know nothing, sir. Leave us be. Once more, there are four What about you, dorks? For what? Factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own face cards. There are also special cards. Wouldn't you rather play war? It's like to be near dawn before you get your game in the noggin. What a waste of time. Yeah, that reminds me of like explaining magic the gathering to people back in the day. <laughs> Got a minute? Why not? Al Dirtgeert, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a woman, long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. What? Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. <laughs> know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Uh -huh. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, no, and I don't have time to learn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I do know Gwent. Uh, from, from, like, when I first played this game, 
I tried really hard to get into that. It's okay. It's, it was just like, God, the AI just whoops your fucking ass. And I was like, yeah, I'm not really having much fun with this. <laughs> Probably just need to practice it more. But uh, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's got a whole game to it now, right? And who else we got? We got this guy. Did we miss anyone? Cat? Oh, jeez. Calm down there, little, little putty tat. Holy fuck. Okay, what do you know, buddy? Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. <laughs> and not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. What do gooseberries smell Too like, I wonder? <laughs> <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Look at those pit stains on him. <laughs> Never mentioned her name. <laughs> <guys> <laughs> you described her perfectly. Once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself, the Butcher of Blaviken. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Ah, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your help. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Oh, boy. Uh, I guess it is to girl. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Easy there, cat. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. See you later, Vesemir. So I feel like the TV show too makes Geralt out to be makes all of them like. Yeah, I don't know. It's like they're all older I'm in the drinking. TV show because they really play up the whole like. Witchers and sorceresses Fuck don't off. age thing. Whereas don't it's just kind of kind, yeah. background info with these games. Like it's part of the characters, but I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course no. I uh you done nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Horses work in witchcraft. Get him. <laughs> well, that didn't work out as I had hoped. <laughs> Roach. Wrong team, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, he seems okay. I think that's just about going to be the end of the episode, and I am starting to... Uh, if you haven't noticed from how quiet I've been, I'm, it's, yeah, it's like going on 11.30 where I am, and I have had one long-ass day of work. That, another reason why I wanted to record today was I literally worked until, jeez, it was like 9? And, and this isn't like my boss isn't, like, I have salary position, I chose to do that today because I wanted to get ahead of the game and not have to stress out about stuff later in the week, so, and like, I'll, you know, like Friday this week, I'll probably stop working around noon right if i've got everything else done so that's the cool part of salary but anyways um it was a very long day i am very tired and i don't know what that kid was doing and uh i just wanted to unwind i've been meaning i wanted to do it on the weekend but i was too busy uh running around doing stuff to uh test out the new video card with the recording software and I wanted to actually try to edit something up. I mean, I tried the Elite Dangerous thing too, like I said earlier, but unfortunately it recorded my music. So, I mean, I could upload it and just pray they don't remove it. Um, because I don't care if it gets copyright striked, but yeah, I don't know, maybe I will put the I gotta skip through it though. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I gotta skim through that Come Elite on. Dangerous episode though because uh, I, I forgot we were recording halfway through. A place of power. So I just want to make sure there's nothing that's camera. I said that absolutely doxed us or anything like, you know, whatever the kids say these days. Fucking, they even speak English anymore. There we go. Did, did I kill him? Was that it? That was one weak ass wraith, I'll tell you that much. But I can do this, and I can do this. Boop. And that is Igni's sign. That's the fire sign. Whoosh. Like I like I say in Krav class before I do my open palm strike. Whoosh. I go like that. Ah, I missed. A little easy there, buddy. Alright. I don't remember race being this weak. I remember them being way more of a struggle. Oh, we, got, we got some mushrooms down here. Gross. Gross. I hate mushrooms. Um, torch on the ground. Perfect. Uh, we got. Ooh, a dead body. Ooh, a shitty sword. Oh, it's like a witch hunter type guy, I think. Yeah, it totally is. Do do do. Oh, we got a viper or something or other. Uh oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> What's fun too is I'm getting older. I get super sneezy when I'm tired. It's very weird. Oh. My body just stops, uh, it's like, yeah, it's like my body's way of just being like, dude, enough, you know, like, go to bed. <laughs> uh, anyways. Place of power. Should draw from it. We just did, Geralt. Calm down. Ooh, what's this? Something magical? No. I'd love to know more stuff like... Who is this boob lady? Is this some kind of goddess? Or is it just like a random lady? What's with that guy's armor? Oh, that's the alternate Nilfgaard armor? I don't know if I'm a fan of that. So, some of the DLC for this game, which it wasn't DLC, like you didn't buy it, it just, I think they just unlocked it for you. It was a bunch of like alternate armors and stuff like that. But honestly, like, 
I'm not a fan of that armor versus the regular Nilfgaard stuff. I wonder if we can see. I can show you guys what I'm talking about quick. Nah, I gotta do it in the main menu. Anyways, yeah, I think I'm gonna turn that off. I prefer the default Nilfgaard armor because it just looks fucking weird. Like, what is that even? It's like something from. It's like armor from, like, an episode of Star Trek. I guess it's kind of cool. It just doesn't look like armor. <laughs> it looks like a wrinkled foreskin. <laughs> or, uh. <laughs> wrinkled ball sack. Uh, oh, cool, and that's the timer. So, on that, um. That amazingly hilarious joke. I'm gonna do my traditional thing of, you know, rambling for a bit, <laughs> playing on past the timer for a couple minutes. Um, I just wanna, like, yeah, let's get rid of this windmill. Look at that, that is one honking windmill. My god, what a beaut. Good lord, look at that. What a beautiful fucking windmill. Faster. <laughs> it's fucking huge. Um, I was just like rough fucking timber boards, too. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, there we go. Nice little vista to end the episode on. There's something over there. Where are we going? So, yeah, I think that's the direction we're going to head. So, next episode, uh, probably tomorrow night or something when I record again. If not on the weekend with Cam for the Elitis, we'll, uh, we'll continue Geralt's adventure. And this is a game I've beaten several times. I'm probably going to skip most of the side quest stuff. We'll see. It, it's not... It's a pretty long fucking game, so uh, this will be a long-term one. I think it's going to be our new main playthrough. I was going to do Elden Ring, but I wanted to get to this one first, and the HD edition gave me an excuse, because I guess it's kind of new again. Um, yeah, it'll be fun. Probably take us a while to get through it all, but there's nothing wrong with that. We can put it on, not the back burner, but just, you know, something. Oh, God. I just dropped my brand new controller. Um... Something I can play and Ken plays by myself a lot, and we can just play here and there in the Elitis if we want to as a break from other stuff. I think Cam and I, otherwise, I don't know. We were talking about Far Cry 6, go, go. but that's mainly not because it's new, it's newer, but um, just to get it on the channel so when Far Cry 7 comes out, we have some kind of back talk to go back to. Uh, the big one there for us is just. Cam and I actually just beat the game, so we're kind of... We're not, like, huge super fans of Far Cry or anything. Like, Cam really likes it. Um, I'm, they're okay. I like 3 is kind of my favorite one. But, uh, yeah, that might be a good one to do on the channel as well. We'll see what happens. As usual, don't hold your breath. We're uh, very laid back here, and we're, we're not doing this for no amount of money or anything. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get another episode out when we get another episode out. Until then... Take care.